is matters arising in the streets of africa you are welcome thank you for coming thank you for clicking to see our videos as you all know we bring you different news headlines from different newspapers across nigeria and we urge you to subscribe to our channel if you're watching us from youtube or like our page if you're watching us from facebook and expect more daily news updates from us and today is the first day of april 2021 and we have um, some news headlines coming from different newspapers for you and the first on our list is coming from the punch newspaper and the main headline here is pdp orders carpet fg as us alleges massive graft in Buari region so uh, we have um, corruption pervasive in government including judiciary a security agency US said and rights abuses under Buari government worse than under military dictatorship says PDP and FG APC keep more over reports and Reddit depressing says CBHR as president and we have service chiefs delaying defense vaccine supplementary sub spending FG said and Senate demands 4.16 billion naira judgment debt disbursement judgment debt disbursement details and doctor strike begins NAD meets national assembly over unpaid allowances so as you all know doctors are scheduled to start up their strike today being april 1st and from what we are seeing here they've already gone on strike while our president is in the uk for his medical treatment so we have lagos to equip lasma others with body one cameras and I can't demand I can't demand seven billion naira bribe when I left. When I left seventy five billion naira in office, P to B said. And UK agency finds Oyaki Homet, Oyaki Lomet TV sixty five point six million over COVID nineteen misinformation. And headsman's killing. Assailant flee a boy. Vital clue found. Outrage trails attack. 30 dead cows get mass burial. On the health workers monitor markets. And Saludo whereabouts unknown. Three policemen killed as government attack summit. So guys, all this and more you can get from the point we have FG Telecos to meet over court ruling on SIM blocking deadlines. All this and more we can get from the Punch newspaper for today. So go ahead and check out their website or you get a copy. And the next on our list is coming from the Daily Sun. And uh, we have the main headline as Based on 2020 Human Rights Report, impunity remains key problem in Nigeria, U.S. said. Agony anxiety as doctors begin strike, vows to ground public hospital, and family members evacuate patients. Hmm. And another one here is Umahi imposes curfew as fear pervades Ebony communities after massacre. In South East Senators Ohaneze push for manhood of corporates and Nigeria's GDP to grow by 2.1 in 2021, World Bank said, and killer of Catholic priests will be arrested, autumn vows. And government attacks Saludo's youth program in Anambra and kills three policemen. And army bulls hail soldiers handling of IPOB matters. 
So we have female soldiers during the inauguration of gender policy for armed forces of Nigeria in Abuja yesterday. And security challenge can't... Oh, this is not uh, clear. So uh, all this and more you can get from the Daily Sun newspaper. If you're interested, you can go ahead and check out their website or go ahead and get a copy. This is coming from the Garden newspaper and the main headline here is shortage of COVID-19 vaccine sparks fear of fake fakery and hoarding. Hmm. As always. So we have um, MTE yet to send supplementary budgets for COVID-19 expenses. And Nigeria plans to get 7 million Johnson & Johnson vaccines through AU. And second badge of AstraZeneca may arrive August. The UK finds Oyakilome TV station 65 million naira over COVID-19 salmon. And British envoy laments Nigeria's worsening insecurity. The military delaying supplementary budget for weapons procurement, says ministers. And Osibanjo precise over fake, over fake in Buari's absence. So guys, um, we have we still have this military opts for full force against terrorism and banditry. Government Q8 injured four in Kaduna, and government attack Soludo Q3 policemen. Everyone declares curfew as indigenous, the crime murder of kings. So this and more you, you can get from the Garden newspaper. And this is coming from the business day. Passenger to pay more at Easter on shortage of aircraft. And trading in Africa, how Nigerian exports can win. And again, Apapa isn't it time for Saolu to name and shame. So these are more we can get from the Business Day newspaper. And we have some other ones here from the Premium Times newspaper. And the first on our list is coming from um, is coming from um, Premium Times and it is uh, about Fidelity Bank posts. 28.1 billion naira profit in 2020 and announces dividend. A U.S. court fixes new date for hush puppies trial. And Liberian war crime court hears how Angel Gabriel roasted women and children. And killing of Salude security details adds to increasing attack on police. A Nigerian resident doctors commence strike despite meeting with government delegations. How I was assaulted by CCT Chairman Abuja Security Guard speaks. So this is a picture of the security guard and you can see the injury he sustained on his lip. So you want more details and want to hear from him can check from the premium times and still on the premium times we have nigerian air force alpha jet goes missing hmm. and uh, why women are beating up in marriages pete edochie and export promotion council urges entrepreneurs to practice to participate in edf scheme uh, police establishes radio station to bring police closer to the people. And police arrange 60 suspected cultists. 544 million grass cutting scam. Court to rule on admissibility of EFCC's SBITs. And YCCB denies Nigerian access to public officers. Assets information officials an alleged assault nba vows to take step at palana demands action against cct chairperson
And why are the directors pay for 2020 rules in Naira? Nigerian breweries. A Nigerian government moves to avert doctor strikes. Doctor strike hold crucial meeting. A Lekki Toge shooting. U.S. yet to confirm number of people killed. Report says. And uh, why metering of customers is slow. Ikeja Electric. Sadiq Daba Davido that the freeze amongst Nigerian most Google personalities in March. And then we have a USAID launches new 33 $33 million dollars activity to enhance civil service, civil society advocacy in Nigeria. USAID launches new $33 million dollars activity to enhance civil society advocacy in Nigeria. As Nigerian minister who who claimed COVID-19 is COVID-19 vaccine is evil gets vaccinated. Gives reason. That's a Femi Fani Kayode. And uh, eight kidnapped victims rescued in Kaduna. Eight kidnapped victims rescued in Kaduna officials. And then we have Senate yet to swear in Cross River Senator elect one month after Supreme Court verdict. Attempted coup foiled in Niger, delayed to historic handover. Africa faces severe debt crisis, UN warns. Recruitment not in favor of North Army. And breaking, police confirms three officers dead and four missing in Akwaibom. Mbayasa government unhappy with court for granting bill to governor's critics. And Senate summon health ministers, others over needles and syringes in quotation. DPR assures Nigerians of petroleum product availability during Easter. And the Department for Petroleum Resources has assured Nigerians of adequate supply of petroleum products before, during and after Easter. Australia to produce own guided missile in billion dollar plan. Natanga Natganda ICC appeals chair chamber confirms conviction sentences of sentencing of Congolese. I didn't get that one. Well. Natanga Natanda. ICC appeals chamber confirms convictions, sentencing of Congolese. And Ransi Nua to produce King Jaja of Apobo's biopic. Reviving Nigerian's tourism fortune after COVID-19. So guys, all this and more you can get from the Premium Times newspaper. If you're interested in any of them, check out the website. All right, and thank you for watching this one, and see you tomorrow for more news headlines. I remain your girl, Nelo, and see you tomorrow. Bye.